crazy how it seems so easy when you're sober <laughs> to tell a story. Wait, where was I? Wait, I know! The worst audition I had was, <laughs> it doesn't sound real. <laughs> it just doesn't. I swear to God, it was for a movie called Bella Mafia. Okay. And it was like an ABC made-for-TV movie. And this must be 10 years ago. I'm sure you could look it up on IMDb and see who got it. it um, and uh, and it was the Don, you know, he's the, the, the mafia guy and he's got two kids and an FBI operative goes undercover as a nanny to take care of his kids and get all the dirt on him. And I was auditioning for the, the, the nanny, but they end up falling in love. And, and then he finds out. So the audition scene is him strangling her oh God. on the floor. <laughs> While she declares her love for him. Oh, God. So never we've already got a problem. We've right. already got a series of problems. But that's not even it. I come in. I'm in the waiting room with the sides. Like, I just, I guess I'm just going to have to go for it. I'm going to have to be fearless. I'm going to have to really got to do strangle myself, get on the floor, cry, the whole. I come into the room, and there's three casting directors, and they're all eating <laughs> cookies. <laughs> but, like, like noisy cookies. <laughs> Now, I find out later that's illegal. They're not yeah. supposed to eat when no. you're... And they're like, is this going to be okay? Can we... Because we didn't get lunch. And I was like, sure, go ahead. I'm a... I'm... Look at how easy yeah, breezy I am. Zone, yeah. Eat a co- the loudest <laughs> cookie ever. <laughs> then the guy operating the video camera, I'm... I'm not kidding, has... I don't want to insult anybody. <laughs> he has two lazy eyes. So... Both his left eye and his right eye are looking at different directions, and I can't tell. And you're supposed to read with him? No, oh. he's just going to tape it, but yeah. I can't tell if he's ready to roll yet because he's he's looking he's looking east and west, right. and I'm oh, north. Oh, no. And so the, the cast are okay, when, you, when you're ready. And I look at him, and I'm thinking, okay, he's got to have peripheral vision. So I give him, like, a nod, like, are you ready? Right. And he's... You know, while I and pissed, he's like, "Yes." So I get down on the floor and start strangling myself and saying, "I love you." And there's the crunching of the cookies, and I can't even take my eyes off the guy at the video camera. And I just, I, I started laughing, and I, I'm on the floor on my hands and knees. I was like, "I just, I just don't think this is gonna work, you guys." <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't say anything. They, they just the, the cast room woman was like. Gave me a nod, like, yeah, and the go-ahead-and-leave hand gesture. Right. Oh. And just, that was it. We think that the whole Hotch Emily Shipper thing started because one time I was shooting a scene with Thomas, and we were in a hospital, and I was staring at him in the scene because I realized he has one white eyelash. And I was transfixed by this white eyelash. So I, I, I was looking at him while we were shooting the scene, because I'm, I'm such a professional actress, that it looked like I was madly in love with Hotch and mesmerized by... That was Paget staring at Thomas's white eyelash. And that's where it all began. Kathleen, I understand. You're confused. You're probably young. I bet you take selfies and you're happy and you're studying or working and you're confused by this new world with all of its garbage and people trying to make money but all candy canes other than the original candy canes are bullshit. <laughs> I'm still shocked all the time. Like when your episode happened and the moon level music from the yes. DuckTales video game started, I burst into wow. like childlike tears. Uh, yeah. You know- Look to the stars, my darling baby boys. Life is strange and vast, filled with wonders and joys. They see each new sun with eyes clear and true, unafraid of the unknown, because I'll face it always you. Right? Yeah. That's how that works. Find something yeah, find something Auntie useful. Paget wants, <laughs> yeah. and I'll give you a candy or a dollar. <laughs> Listen, that sounds great. Can right? you imagine? Yeah. Oh, find I- those pumps I bought on eBay in 2004. 
I don't know where I put them. You're making me want to. You're making me want to bring kids over here. Right? Oh, do you have a baby? I remember we had to stand at the top of the stairs. Mm -hmm. and scream until mom and dad decided to come out and they would put up a baby gate no matter how old we were. How old were you when you figured out... Two questions, I guess. Maybe they're two questions. How old were you when you figured out, hey, this this is mom and dad putting on all this stuff? And two, how old were you when you figured out, I can step over this baby gate and safely make it down the stairs? I understood the ability to circumvent the baby gate early. Uh, okay. but that my kills brother the and I were good at that. It was that you just can't. You yeah, can't go you down. Can, that's the rule. Yeah, you don't want to see okay. my dad mad. Yeah. Um, also. <laughs> so here's something that I've done several times in my life. Um, when I'm torn, I get a coin. Now, here's the trick. So let's say, let's say I'm you, and I say, heads, I'm going to go to veterinarian school. Tails, I'm going to work for the UN. No matter what this says, heads, I'm a veterinarian. Tails, I work for the UN. Flip it. It's heads. Now you have to be a vet. Now, what did you feel when you saw it was heads? Because if what happens is sometimes we get so cerebral, we forget like what our gut knows. So I, so now, but. Let's say you're like, okay, yeah, I do want to be a vet. Okay, I'm going to flip it again. Now it's going to be, do I go into politics or do I go? I'm rambling. I think you understand my point. See how you respond in your heart and your gut and your body when, you, when the coin makes the decision. Because you'll know immediately. You'll be like, oh, okay, great. Or you'll see heads and be like, oh, no. And you'll know what's inside of you. Uh, and I've done this many times to make decisions. Um, but you, ha you have to convince yourself that the coin will tell you what to do. Uh, I hope that helps. It, listen, it's a, it's, maybe it's really dumb, but maybe it'll work. Uh, yep, got this, got this. I'm good. You're cool. I'm cool. <coughs> that voice is hard. And I love Matthew, Greg Kubler, and AJ, too. Look what I just... Oh, don't look at my fancy Rite Aid sweatpants. This is a drawing by Matthew, Greg Kubler. It says, what was your Idaho? I don't, I don't, I don't even know what that means. Um, but we were shooting a scene in the BAU roundtable room, and Matthew didn't have a lot of lines in the scene that we were doing. So he drew this creature in his FBI file. And um, when we finished shooting the scene, uh, I stole it. Oh, don't, don't steal things. Uh, don't steal things. Or if you have to steal something, steal something from your friend and then tell them that you stole it. Don't grow up to be a thief, Bella. Don't be a thief, Bella. You Wasn't there also a, a leg of lamb? <laughs> Was the, if I wait, a leg of someone, lamb was if one? If I kill my husband with a leg of lamb and then cook it and eat it, there's no weapon. Oh, right. Oh, okay. oh, that might have been an episode of Criminal Minds. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. Could have been in a book. Could have been in Criminal Minds. Damn it. This sucks. Would you like me to help you? Yes, please, Derek. You broke it. <laughs> It's pretty manly. <laughs> Thank you. Get, don't you give me my f***ing booze, bitch. <laughs> All right, you're f***ing in for it now. I'll tell you what has been helping me, and this might seem really stupid, but um, we have an Apple TV, and there's like a screensaver so that an image isn't burned into your... I mean, now they're crazy. Look at this. I sit here... Oh, I just watched that whale, man. Ah, here, let's see what else there is. Oh, and those are dolphins. Beautiful dolphins. Do they mate for life, do you think? I can't remember. Uh, let's see what else we have. Uh, oh, oh, this is a, a wave um, breaking off the shore of Tahiti, but it just looks like a crazy art project. Oh, the coral reef, the coral reef. Uh, 
in, in the Red Sea near Egypt. This is the craziest one. Golden cow nose rays. Oh, the, the it, what it told me. They're, um, they're like manta rays flying, flying, swimming in a big school. And it, and it looks, it looks like a crazy pop art, uh, 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 collage, not pop art, Escher, Escher, M-E-E-M, -E -E Escher. I don't remember the name of the artist. Boy, I have, uh, I've wasted a lot of your time. No, so, but, but liturgically. Yeah. Ooh, is that the right oh, word? I, so, yeah. I no, it sounds good to me. Ooh, I feel good about it. Catholically? <laughs> Yes. Right? Is that... Catholically. Speaking. Catholically speaking. When Everyone has body issues at some point in their life, um, but it's harder on some people than others. Uh, and I'm so sorry that you have felt that way at any point in your life. Um, and I hope that it's something you can, you can strive to get past because it's very hard. Um, and, and we live in a culture that value certain things for women that are hard, if not impossible, to attain. Um, and I, I feel you, because I trash my appearance and all the time, and I shouldn't. Um, know that, okay, think of it this way. In 15 years, would you look back on the you you are now and be like, oh my God, She's phenomenal. She's a dynamo. She's beautiful. She's young and excited. And yeah, yeah, you will. In 15 years, you would be mad at the you right now that's feeling badly about yourself, I think. So it is going to be a struggle, but it's something that you can overcome. And I believe in you. And I know that you will overcome these obstacles that you feel are holding you back. I know you will. In 1853, the War of Crimea breaks out. So. Have you ever been in that river? Huh? Crimea River? You never been there? Oh, f me. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do I want to kick you? I get that. I like you. Anyway. You, I, you I still get there? nervous. Yeah. In fact, when we went, we went one month without doing it. Didn't we just. Because we did a show a few months ago where oh, Joel, we missed July. I was, was so nervous, having missed a month, mm -hmm. having missed a I'm show, really. I was so nervous that I, I that. thought the mic could hear my heart pounding. Oh. And I have, I have every crutch I, I could ever need. I am drinking. <laughs> I'm with Paul. You wrote a great script. I've studied that accent. It's sold out. <laughs> I didn't write it. Like, I have every crutch possible. I shouldn't be nervous because it's, it's nothing but good luck for me. I mean, I, 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 if, it, if it wasn't Paul, that would be... Because I do... I mean, I really feel like I, I know... And when... Oh, I think I might cry. <laughs> when, I, when we're back and the curtain's closed... Oh my gosh! I have a head cold. I'm a very, I may be overly emotional. We've been drinking but, and Paul's but, here. And we wrote this. No, I'm not drinking now. I'm totally sober. But I mean, <laughs> when we're backstage and the curtains closed and Hal starts that, and then Paul and I look at each other and we give each other a little squeeze or a kiss on the cheek and we say, "I love you." It is the most. I mean, it's just, it's just great. It's just great. It's just so much fun, and I trust him more than anyone performing wise. And and I know that if anything goes wrong, he'll he'll take care of it like a man. It's the best. It's the best fake marriage I could ever have. And it's amazing. One hundred and fifty nine years later, her book is still used in hospitals today. My math is not good. It might be one hundred and seventy something. Remember, it's two thousand nineteen. Okay, I don't like math. I want you to do it. Not because you're a man. Well, kind of. Uh. God damn. <laughs> well, that oh, one. Oh, I might... shouldn't say God. You know what? <laughs> <laughs>